Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Emily, so I'll read you what she says. Dear Cyber Sue, why do my boyfriend and I keep breaking up then getting back together? My boyfriend and I have been together for two years on and off. We are both 25 years old and there's no doubt that we love each other, but then we have an argument about something trivial and we break up once again. A month later, we run into each other and rekindle the romance. Why can't we make a solid commitment and stop all this back and forth BS? Emily. So this is more common question than you probably realize, Emily, because what happens is people are very confused about what they want in a relationship anymore. And a lot of people are really afraid of being alone. So they'll stick it out. They'll go back and forth thinking, okay, well, we can make this work. Everything's okay here. Then you have a little argument like what happened to you and your boyfriend. And then you start looking at it more objectively. And you say to yourself, what is going on here? Why are we having these stupid arguments and then running away from each other all the time? Well, part of the reason for that is, as I said, you don't want to be alone. And part of it's just you're just not necessarily with the right person. And if you've been with them for a while, like in your case, Emily, you've been with them for a few years. And so sometimes what happens is we change, we evolve, but we don't evolve at the same pace as our partner. They might want something different from us. So we try to talk ourselves into sticking around because we had such a good foundation in the first couple of years. Unfortunately, as we grow, and you're both only 25, so a lot of things change then. And while you might be ready maybe for a, more of a commitment, maybe your boyfriend is starting to get nervous about wanting you wanting to get married too early, and so he's freaking out and running away. But he cares about you, so when he's away from you, he thinks about the good things just as you think about the good things and it brings you back together again. The problem with this is a month is not long enough to understand what is transpiring. Why is this continuing to happen? Because if you're really close to somebody and you love them, shouldn't you work things out when you're together? How is it going to work out when you're apart? Because you know every time you break up that you're you're probably going to get back together again. So is this becoming a game? Is it becoming a habit? Or do you really truly love each other? This is something you need to figure out because if it's just a matter of a comfort zone that you, you're you close with each other, you know each other, hey, better to be with the devil you know, the old expression. Not always. Often what can happen is that you can become addicted to this. And the reason for that is when you get back together, it's so euphoric and you know each other really well that that makeup sex is always fantastic. So maybe there's a little bit of an addiction for the excitement that you have when you get back together that maybe isn't there in your relationship when you're together, you know, most of the time. And this is something that can happen. People sort of get out of the honeymoon stage and they long for that to come back again. You have to ask yourself, is this a, a habit because it's sort of drama filled and it's exciting or is it real love? If you take more time the next time this happens and make yourself remove yourself from venues or people that you see your, your boyfriend with, all those kind of things, just remove yourself away from it for a while. And then you'll have more clarity on what's really going on here. A month apart is not really going to give you that clarity because you already know in your head you're probably going to get back together. I'm sure you've had many talks in the past, but I think it's really time to sit down and just be really honest with each other. Tell them, what, what do you feel? Do you feel that it's more of a sexual connection? And that's what's keeping you there? Do you feel a fear of being alone and that's what's keeping you there? Do you hate dating and you don't want to go back out and be single again? Is that another thing that's keeping you there? This is something that you both need to sit down and say to, say to each other, look, let's be super honest about this. What are we doing? Because how do you go into a committed partnership with somebody down the road when you've broken up with them five, six, seven times? I mean, you're never going to feel secure with them. So it, how is this going to work unless you get into what the real problem is? 
Another thing to ask yourself, does anything really change when you get back together after you've had a breakup? Or do the same problems keep arising? Because that's another thing you can work with. I'm not saying this is doomed, but it's not going the way it should be for a natural relationship progression. It's actually being, it's very dysfunctional what you're both doing here. But if you're having the same problem over and over again, then at least you know what it is. And maybe you can go talk to a counselor about it and figure out how to work through it because there's something that keeps you coming back together. If it's real love, it's worth looking into seeing what the, the catalyst is. What's the main concern that's going on that's causing the same problems to keep coming back and causing you to break up? Because doesn't it make sense to fix those problems? It might only be one or two little things, but it's enough to make you feel insecure with each other and then it causes you to separate again. I would talk to your boyfriend about it and ask him if he'd be willing to go to couples counseling and if he says no, he's not interested, well, you might have a bit of your answer there as to how much he's willing to commit to your relationship. But I would suggest that you go anyway, because there's something here that you're allowing because you keep going back. So you want to find out what that is, because you have to own your part in why this is happening and figure out why you're doing it. So it's really, really valuable for you to do this. So trying that, if you can't resolve things between you so that there isn't another breakup that happens you're probably going to have to walk away and that's going to be the hardest thing for you but you've had a few opportunities to see what it's like without him so there's that but I would suggest this time around if you're serious about saying okay I've got to stop this repeated behavior that isn't working for me I've got to remove things out of the house that remind me of him. I've got to maybe block him off my phone for a while. Maybe you can be friends at a later date. No social media contact, all those things. And remove yourself from venues that you might regularly go to with friends. Just take a good six months to take some time to really look at what's going on in your life. Because at one month, is, there's not enough clarity there for you to figure it out. So please try all these things. And thank you so much for writing, Emily. I really appreciate it. And I really hope things work out for you. I, I know you're both 25, so you do have time to meet other people. So it's not like it's a doomed situation if it doesn't work out. Please let me know what happens. Keep me posted. Thanks so much for listening today, everyone. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And leave any comments below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.